Yo, what's going on guys? Um, I know I usually don't do these kind of videos and update, making an update video is kind of new for me, you know, so please excuse me if I fucking suck at it, you know, but, you know, I just, I just saw the update and I couldn't resist and I had to do one, especially because the main thing about this update is my boy Highlander. And basically everything that I've complained about Highlander has been patched in this update. And we're gonna get to that later. First of all, I want to mention a couple of things that have been changed. And yeah, you might be able to hear my little baby girl in my, in my lap, you know. So I'm recording this while she's in my lap. She's struggling. I think she wants to fucking fight right now or she wants to poop daddy in his fucking hand while he's holding her. Shut up, baby papa's trying to make a video. So anyways, so there's a couple of changes coming in season five called Age of Wolves and it's launching February 15th so next Thursday that's the yeah that's next Thursday from now on in season five you'll be able to use your salvage and to actually get some XP boost out of it I think that's a nice thing uh, we're also going to be able to use refined gear what that what that what that actually means is uh, you're going to have some a couple of legendary items and once you get them you can refine them actually giving them more offensive stats or defensive stats or whatever whatever you like uh, the next big thing is arena mode is coming at season 5 but it's not coming out at launch which a lot of people said it would you know it's not coming out at, at the launch it's coming during during the season 5 somewhere around, somewhere along the way so we're just gonna have to sit back and wait for it and there's finally gonna be some defensive meta changes to, uh, especially to parries so no longer will you be able to guard break someone someone after a parry or rather they will be able to counter guard break you so if you parry somebody's heavy attack it doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna get the guard break they're gonna have a chance to, to counter guard break that one a heavy attack parry will give you a 600 milliseconds window which is maybe enough for a light attack and for a light attack parry it will it will stay at 900 milliseconds um, i think that was about the same as before I think this is the right step into into the right direction when it comes to defensive meta turtle um, meta whatever you want to call it. Um, people were kind of scared to throw heavies and light attacks and whatever you know after after you get caught broken thrown into a wall by a centurion and you know get get cutscene to fucking death you know you don't want to you don't want to throw you don't want to throw heavies. Um, so yeah, I think that's gonna be gonna be a good change and I can't wait to play it. Something that is actually making me personally very happy is that some characters like Nobushi, Kensei, Valkyrie, etc. Uh, which could throw heavies without worrying about a parry, you know, you know you parry, you know you parry a heavy from a Nobushi and you try to guard break her but you, she's just too far away. Well now you're able to, to parry and try and guard break or just go for a light attack. I think that's actually pretty good and that was pretty and that was really fucking frustrating when, when fighting in the bushy you know yeah there are also a couple of um hero updates like berserker will not not get a top heavy like berserker will not get a top heavy out of a guard break or the throw uh orochi's top light attack combo has been reduced from 32 to 22 thank god you know everybody fucking hates orochi top light spamming shit you know shigoki will now get a heavy out of a uh, light parry there's a couple of other tweaks to some to some characters uh, and you can check them out on the update log which is going to be released next week it's not going to be released this week so yeah stay tuned for that one or you're just going to have to try it once this update hits mainly what i wanted to talk about is highlander highlander's got some huge buffs this week the one thing that i'm really happy about is celtic curse can celtic curse can now be cancelled into offensive form so which means after you've done your first attack with Celtic Curse, you can now cancel it or rather just switch into uh, offensive form and maybe, you know, do do a Baylor's Might or just go for a kick or a grab, you know, or a caber toss to be exact, you know. And I think it's going to make Highlander pretty damn fucking um, scary on the battlefield, especially in the 1v1 duel. Also, Baylor's Might has been reduced from 30 to 24. His side heavies have, have been buffed from 25 to 34. And his top heavy has been buffed from 40 to 45. I mean, the side heavies are pretty good, you know. That's a whopping 10 more damage. Highlander's second light in offensive form was pretty fucking use useless. I mean, I, I don't think anybody used it because it would leave you open to basically any kind of parry and then guard break. And yeah, basically you would be out of stamina and you would get your ass whooped. Now, the recovery time has been reduced from 1,100 milliseconds uh, to 800 milliseconds. And he also receives hyper armor on that one. 
I'm still not going to use that shit on Highlander, to be honest. One of the things that made me really happy about the Highlander update is this Caber Toss update. And it's probably my favorite. How many times did you feign to kick to try and do the Caber Toss on a Orochi or any other character? Just, you know, just to miss and then get guard broken. Kick has also received a buff or a nerf. I don't know what you, what you, what you want to call it, but it's definitely better. Uh, the distance has been reduced, so even if you kick someone, don't worry, you will be able to land your unblockable heavy. I mean, Baylor's might. I think these, these are pretty fucking good changes, especially for Highlander mains. I think I'm gonna get my Highlander out again and try and do some do some duels and see what the, uh, what the changes have, re have really done to this character. Uh, and I definitely like the def defensive meta changes to parry and and if you and if you want me to to make another you know warriors then update video whatever you want to call it uh, let me know I mean I usually don't do these kind of things I just did it because I saw the Highlander update and it made me really happy so yeah like I said if you did if you liked the video please give a like uh, comment down below let me know what you what you guys think and I'll see you guys in my next video.